for this exercise, open the file Chapter 14 Electrical Equipment. In the Project Browser, scroll down and make sure that you have Level 1 Power Plan open. From the Electrical Panel, click on Electrical Equipment. And here, we're going to select the metering switchboard to start with. Select the 1219 by 1276 type. Scroll in until you can see the electrical room 118 and place the switchboard near a wall. It's worth pointing out that if you want to choose another wall and as this element is not hosted, you can press the space bar to rotate it. Repeat the command and from the properties palette, choose the 400 amp distribution board TPNN. This is a face hosted element. And as you can see, it's trying to bury itself in the wall. So pressing the space bar will enable us to flip it into the right direction. We're going to repeat this for the south. Here we've got an electrical room 112. And in this option, we'll use the 400 amp distribution board SPNN. Again, use the space bar to flip it to the correct orientation. Finally, on the north part of the building, electrical 125, we'll use the same distribution board SPNN 400 amp and click to place it on a wall. Press modify to end the command. So far, this has been little more than a drafting task, but this is where the power of Revit now comes in. As I want Revit to produce my distribution board schedules for me, I can't do this until I select the distribution boards and pick the type of distribution system they're using. Selecting the distribution board in plan activates the options bar and I can select the distribution system. I'll do this for the other boards. The one in 112. The three phase board in 118. And the metering switchboard. And this is why it's vital that the distribution systems and the voltages are set up in your project template. 